Is romance important in my life? Yes. Is romance essential in my life? You better believe it is. No, not at all. Yes. Yes, we need romance. Yes, it is essential. Is romance essential? Oh, yes. Absolutely. No, absolutely not. Hi, I'm David Brower, the Sensorial Guy. I asked the question, is romance essential in your life? And if so, why? And the responses I got, I feel, are going to both surprise and inspire you in living romance in all parts of your life. I've been with my wife for uh, six years now. And uh, yeah, romance is super important to me. Uh, we see each other as a team. And I think that's what um, push us to do better every day. And so we hear for one another. And yeah, that's mainly how I see um, the, the, the power of romance in our relationship. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the happy ever after in every moment. I deeply believe with every cell in my body that, in fact, it's my faith, that when we come from a place of love, when we are feeling love within ourselves, when we are being loving towards others, everything and everyone feels better. And so it is. Romance for me is the connection I have with soccer. For example, like when I have the ball in my feet, it's like a connection with me and the ball. Like nothing else is distracting me. It's just I need to get it in the goal and my only thing is focused on that. And I think that's what romance is for me. Is romance important? Of course it is. I don't think I'd want to meet a person that doesn't feel that same way. To me, romance is the expression of love, and love is all. And it's not so much always having to receive love, but giving it out, putting it out there, and expressing love, and making someone's day, even a stranger's, a little bit better because of the love that we have in our heart. So yes, critically important. We need to never forget that, and live with the Aloha spirit. Take care. Of course I love romance. Who doesn't? It's these moments that we probably remember at the end of our lives. It's these moments that get under our skin, that are special, that we share with a loved one. You know, this moment when there's no words needed or, you know, like this the fireplace moments or just like this deep look into our eyes. I mean, so much is romance. I do love romance. Don't you? Oh my God. This is why I love Romans. Romantic? No, not at all. Yes, we need romance. It helps us to connect with ourselves and with others. It helps to align our head, our heart, our bodies and our spirit. It gives us a joie de vivre and reminds us to stay curious and open to new experiences and especially reminds us to celebrate and stay in gratitude with love, my friends. My most romantic experience of all is the relationship that I hold with music. It enables me to express myself, to be, become more musical, magical, alive and happy. It takes me to a blissful place. So my bliss is music. My romanticism is in the sounds of my creating music, listening to music and experiencing music regularly. That's my romantic connection to life. Romance and Anything that makes you wish that time could stop or that time could end makes life worth living. Why is romance so important in life? Well, I believe that it is the alchemical marriage of the feminine and the masculine, where we spend so much of our time doing, 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 and being in a state of romance is about being, being, being. And it's not about the long stem roses and, and the big moments. It really is all about the little moments of taking care of each other. You better believe it is.
I am an eternal romantic and I always have been since I was a little girl. Why? Uh, because it brings me into full embodiment in this life, into full intimacy with my beloved, with nature, with my creativity, with passion itself, with life itself. I couldn't imagine life without romance. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. For many years, I stepped away from romance and romantic intimacy in order to understand uh, my own frequency. And now as I'm stepping back in, I can feel a vibrancy, a vitality, a higher fidelity of life. And so yes, romance is necessary. Being alone as a single person, I had to learn that romance is an inside job. And I believe in romancing myself a pathway to intimacy. Romance creates in us a vibration that opens our heart so that with that openness, we can approach relationship, we can approach communion and union, even if that is done with ourselves, maybe especially if that's done with ourselves. Well, normally I would say that yes, it is essential to have in my life because it's exciting, it's fun, it's intriguing, it makes me feel good. But in this COVID stuff, I don't have romance right now and it's okay, I'm good. But that's not saying that I wouldn't like to have it happen and I certainly hope that it does. Romance is essential because it helps connect me to that silly little love song that I have for all of those folks that I love, whether it's my spouse or my kids, my extended family, friends, my clients. I love to find or just make up a silly little love song. It's a way of sort of generating that love and connection inside my own heart that builds well-being and happiness in me. And I love to share that with others. Romance, a silly little love song are essential to life and well-being. Romance to me is the quality of mystery, the quality of excitement and the remoteness that two people can gain completely isolate themselves from the world once they're caught up in each other's feelings of fascination and allure. For me it is about showing up as being fully present for myself, for others, and it's about noticing the beautiful things that I already have in front of me. Really, really, really embrace it. I think one can find romance in more or less all situations. It's like with so many other things that we can, when we start to look for it, it appears. What a beautiful question. When love and creativity come together, something magical happens. And I think in a time like we've had over the last couple of years, um, to be so absorbed by intense and unsettling external stimuli, pausing for a moment to cultivate romance in the most important relationship in my life has breathed life back into us. Whether it's an unexpected note or uh, a well-planned out elaborate experience, romance is the recipe for shared joy. For me, romance is the essence of life, or as my husband would say, the awakening of the senses, and truly so. When we think of romance, we obviously think of our uh, spouses or partners because we share ourselves so intimately with them, you know, our physical self. But I also feel like romance is a part of every relationship that we have, you know, around us, with our family, with our kids, with our uh, friends, because they recharge us, they help us in ways that we don't know of. They nourish us, they nourish our souls. Tutte romantic, there's romance everywhere. <laughs> romance is essential in my life because it's one of the most powerful ways for me to care for other people's health and to look after my own health. For me, romance has this ability to physically, energetically open my heart. And if you want to take care of someone's health, then taking care of the health of their heart is one of the most powerful things that we can do. So romance for me is a way to care for my own health and the health of other people. And it kind of feels good too. Okay, bye.
to me, love is one of the most powerful emotions that we can feel and one of the most beautiful. I mean, what would the world be like if we all had more love? And, um, you know, as love is the feeling, romance is the expression of that feeling. So if you want more of what is one of the most beautiful emotions in the world, why would you not want to express that more in your life? So that's what it means to me. Somebody, sweetheart, I want to be. Somebody's heart beating just for me. Somebody's two arms around me when I feel blue. Somebody's sweetheart, and that means you. I am sending you thoughts of romance in my warm fuzzy pink world because that's what romance is to me. And I believe that we experience romance when we live from our spirit, when we meet life with an open heart and we are out of our heads and egos and, and intellects and we are just in the true present expression of our divine nature. When we are in that feeling, we see the beauty in all things and people. Nothing's better, and that's why we can't get enough of it. It keeps bringing us back to our true self. Romance is our medicine. I would say that the beauty of romantic love is that it's probably the closest thing that we ever get to magic in this life. You know, so much stuff is already explained, so much is, you know, broken down to facts and figures, numbers, and I suppose that one could reduce it all to just electrostatic biochemistry, but the fact is, is there's nothing like when you find somebody that you can just share your world and your life with, and they may try to explain it scientifically, but honestly, I feel like when you actually experience it, it's proof that there are higher things at play and it's a dance you find that partner and you just enjoy it just live in the moment and regardless of how long it lasts whether it's a season or a lifetime it's something that we all take with us for i believe beyond here and that's the beauty of love having had three marriages three divorces i kind of feel like a relationship expert and what i found to be true is that i need to be observant to my needs in order for me to come from a neutral position and to be able to attract into my life other romantic situations. So first and foremost, be observant to your own needs because only then are you able to love unconditionally. Otherwise, it will always have a price tag. Try and avoid that. It doesn't work. I know it. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yes, not only essential, it is central, right? In my opinion, without romance, what is left in life, right? Romance enables me to be able to let life in and touch me in ways that fill me up and give my life meaning. Romance is what life is all about for me. Is romance essential? Oh yes. Why? Because it wakens my life force. It brings joy and pleasure and sensuality. It connects me back with nature, with the pulse of the earth, the rhythm of life stirring. It's in the flavors, the taste, the scent, the touch, the dance, the music, the poetry. It makes such a difference. I believe romance is about the little things, in addition to staging some grand gestures or events. My wife and I are in our 45th year of marriage with wonderful kids and grandkids and Sometimes whether we're in person in the same room or on FaceTime when we're traveling apart, just being able to share the joy and laughter of some shared time together, that's romance. So is seeing her 98 and 96 year old parents, you know, touch the back of a hand or put an arm around the shoulder while still putting the other hand on their walker. That's romance too. It's all about showing someone you care that they are loved. For me, a romantic life is filled with beauty and kindness and respect, with fun and excitement um, and discovery, a lot of passion and compassion, and a very uh, deep connection with oneself uh, and everyone else around, and a deep connection with nature too. Yeah, that's how I like to look at romance. And so I hope that everyone around has a very, very romantic life. I relate romance to love. Love's a behavior as much as it is a feeling, and romance is a behavior. 
Um, do you need it? Is it essential? Probably not, like driving a, a car with the top down at 80 miles an hour, riding a horse or drinking great wine, but missing out on it. He's missing out on a great piece of life. So I'd say the best thing to do is to set your phone down, lock it away for three or four hours and pay complete attention and devotion and listen to the person you're with and give them your focus, time and energy and listening. And yeah, there's gonna be some touching involved as well because touch is a very important communicative tool that gets left out of our culture so often these days. It's just simply holding hands, putting your arm around somebody and staring at a lake or a sunset and listening. Romance is simple and it's an act of love. L'amour romantique est une construction qu'on choisit de faire durer. Et on l'a fait durer par des petits moments qui n'appartiennent qu'à ce couple. La, créer la magie du quotidien, euh, des petites attentions qui font que le couple est plus fort, plus solide et plus pérenne. L'amour romantique est indispensable pour la plénitude. Mais c'est part du problème, n'est-ce pas And that's why people get so distracted chasing so many other things in life that don't truly matter. For me, romance is an amplifier. It magnifies everything else in life and life wouldn't be worth it without it. And ignore it at your peril because our research studies show us that the number one regret in life is indeed love itself. Romance is the spice of life. It's the colors of the rainbow. It's the tricks you pull out of your hat. It's the moments of tenderness and creativity and imagination and caring and kindness and sensitivity, attentiveness and presence and listening. It's what keeps variety in a couple, in a relationship, and it touches everything that we create and do from cooking to conversation to relationship, whatever kind of relationship it is. It infuses everything for me in life. It's the charm factor. It's the true connection factor. It's, come on, we're in this together. Let's play and smile and be jubilant.